This episode is sponsored by Squarespace. More on that later. Yeah, that's, that's definitely in the way. The one day I don't bring my chainsaw. I don't know, I think it should be light enough because it's, it's dead. All right, little guy, see what you got. Yeah, move that. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I'm gonna put this rock there so it doesn't roll. <laughs> Guten Tag! Welcome back to Woodness Goodness and welcome back to the off-grid mountain cabin build. We are located in Virginia of the United States of America. It is an absolutely BEA beautiful day to get after it and do some more cabin building. Oh, what a thing of beauty. Look at that thing. Woohoo! My dad says there's no sign of Duke. Looks like um, looks like everything worked. He did not get in the main dookie den. All that stuff there is from last time. We just didn't clear it out. So my dad put hardware cloth all up in there, even in there, even in there. And so far, so good. It's getting hard to walk up that slope. What, what the legs your, are feeling it. What else on your body hurts these days? <laughs> oh, Ash, you know what? Not much. I'm very thankful. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> All right. It's good to know that because we are related. He is my father, so maybe maybe there's still a chance for me. 34-year-old body update for me, myself. Uh, uh, my tennis elbow is still uh, quite real. I, I don't exactly know what happened. You know, it's just the age and the wear of all my ligaments, tendons, and vertebrae. Uh, you know, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, aging is not for the faint of heart. So today we're going to finish off this loft to get the rest of those uh, rafters up. I didn't bother getting sheathing or anything today because, well, it typically takes an hour out of our day and we just wanted to get here and start working. I got to get the rest of these hangers up. And um, then I actually have to nail these boards in, which I have not done yet. I also have to put the GRK fasteners on this ledger board. Um, I realized that all my rafters are exactly where the studs are. So, but it shouldn't be a big deal. I can just, I can, these are still um, loose in there. So I'll just lift them up, put a GRK fastener in behind there. And um, then this uh, ledger board should be strong enough. So first I mark it where my rafters are gonna go. Like I, I can't I can't put the rafter hanger flush to the top of the plate. because um, they're about an inch shy of the actual you know width of the board. But if I go I think I'm doing five eighths inch below and I'm do a little mark, the hanger sits right at that point. And because I'm measuring the top to the bottom of the hanger essentially. Um, these become perfectly flush to my beam and well where they need they need to be and I draw a line because I want to make sure my hanger is 
good to go the whole way down. I don't square up the other side of the bracket until the board's in. A, because sometimes you can bend it in too tight and then the board won't even fit in there. And secondly, it's nice to hug the board after the fact. I don't know, it's just how I do it. All right, now I'll go to the other side, get those squared away, slap in three boards worth, and then only two more left. All right, we're lifting this toilet seat up to find out where Duke's living. This guy is a savage. Look at this. That is a really nice house, though. Fantastic. Like, look at that. I want a house tour. Look at all his nuts. Oh my gosh, look at all these nuts. See, a bunch of stuff is falling into our dookie pit. I know. Man, du Duke's the real hero. I mean, that's an, ama an amazing house. <laughs> All right, I think before I get carried away, I still got to put GRKs in that wall holding up the ledger board. So we're going to do that quickly because um, I'm going to forget and then I'm going to fall through. All right, here we go. Oh, what the... Oh my goodness. I guess that's a good thing when your wood doesn't have a crown, but <laughs> makes it difficult to pick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my ratchet strap and hold this beam tight to all my rafters so when I'm sitting there toenailing it and pounding it, it's not going to try and separate. Because with my luck, it will. It'll separate and then it'll be a pain in the butt.
I mean, they are short boards, so the fact of them being a little more straight than others is a little more likely. There you go. Pretty good. Pretty good, I gotta say. It looks good. Feels good. Look at that view. Look at this. My dad is no mercy. No way to get in now. Oh. Don't worry, we are gonna leave his cute little nest there for a while because well, quite honestly, if you guys look at it, real estate prices right now, they're just through the roof. And I just don't want to put the little guy in a bind, you know. I don't know where he's at with his finances. You know, we just got to, always got to be looking out for our neighbor. You know what I'm saying? So now, I want to pull this beam in tight. Hammer time. Better than snips. Yeah, okay. Thank you. I have a hanger auto nailer. I might bust it out. It's just so loud. It's so obnoxious. So this is the auto hammer. Skill brushless. I think it's about 120 bucks. Basically, this little bad boy, once you have pressure on it, it has a little a hammer in there. Basically hammers it. The nice thing is, is you can get in tight spaces. <laughs> it still requires strength because you gotta but actually maybe the trick is to get them all started and then come in and just finish it off you know I'm doing this for science not because I'm not strong it's so loud <laughs> it's so loud. It's just obnoxious, you know? Oh, see, like, just that movement of taking those off? It's, it's not like a strength thing. There's a weird thing going on. Oh, that hurts. Please, if any of you are doctors, let me know. The more tired your arm gets, the worse your the worse your aim becomes. I guess that's obvious. basically got everything good to go up here quite honestly my wrists are sore <laughs> so we're gonna take a break on the loft 
I pretty much got every hanger and there's just a lot of nails and I'm, I'm a very fragile human these days, but I am going to fill in these headers. These need, um, sheet of plywood to come out a bit and then I can start filling up the gaps with sheathing. It's just this wall that I have some sheathing missing and I have enough to do that. Trying to take a break from hammering and here I am hammering away. <laughs> I realize I'm, I'm, I realize I'm really close to the point of just, um, I mean, needing to start the next big thing, you know? Yeah. Something that's not expensive. <clears throat> One in Rome. Might as well do this up here. <laughs> My knees are gonna get up. It's okay. It's all part of the plan. I think that's it. That will do. Forgot my PPE. It's called triple ply cotton. I mean, we're not surprised, but I was a little short at the edge here. 
It's not for structural strength. It's just to fill in that gap. <laughs> I love it. No table saw, no problem. And then I think I need to do a 45 degree angle there. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Would you just look at it? Oh, I'm not gonna be able to reach. Family. Oh, come on, guys. That's factory right there. Let's stay there. Stay there. Should I insulate that header? Hey dad, you wanna bring that insulation over here? I'm just gonna try and make it work. Rock wool. Perfect. Nice. It's like a big jigsaw puzzle at this point. Oh, and daddy can play. Yes. I think I'm gonna wait to do this piece and do what I did over there is get some insulation in there. Not that it's gonna matter all that much, but maybe it'll matter a little bit. You know, knock out some draft. Those little holes kind of force you to put it in that angle, you know? Yeah.
Oh, there we go. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I had it. Uh, there we go. Okay. Oh no, no. <laughs> okay. Cool. I'll get the nail gun for the rest. You can't use the gun on hangers. No? No. There we go. So we put mesh all the way around and then brought it out to about there. So that's almost a foot and then buried all that, stapled it in, made sure all the corners, I used little extra mesh on the corners because those are tough areas to, to isolate or to rat proof stomped on the earth and when he digs down he's going to hit the he's going to hit the mesh and maybe not know what to do hopefully so hopefully that'll do it the only part it's three quarters done the front is not done because we ran out of mesh but that'll have to be done as well i've left a two by two by eight set in there a little piece that might deter him a little bit <laughs> One never knows. <laughs> and the seat is back on and oh, oh. he had the food on one side and his bed on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Not a whole lot has changed since last time we came here other than the loft on the inside tidied up a lot of stuff on the outside just to get ready for house wrap and siding. Still waiting on the last two pieces of metal roofing. The loft floor system is all buttoned up. My dad helped me hammer all the nails in because my wrists were both feeling broken. Got hangers, all the hanger nail hole, or all the holes in the hangers are filled, which is something I typically don't do. So this is good, this is a good habit. And this will be a really nice little loft. It's just over seven feet wide. And then it's obviously the length of the building I didn't want to take up too much of the ceiling height because part of the beauty of this cabin is just this big open ceiling when you look up and you're going to see windows and the view everywhere. So I didn't want to intrude on that. Plus the sole purpose of the loft is to have some sleeping quarters up there. Keep it simple, nothing complicated. The one thing I'm curious what you guys think is if I should put a window or two on this back wall. The direction that I'm pointing the camera right now is where the wind likes to travel. So basically the wind likes to travel from say those mountains over there and it just howls and pushes right through the cabin. And I'm thinking this will be my work area, kind of a kitchenette type, type of space. And maybe some small windows that open could be good there. Because those windows up there will not open up. That does it for us here. Uh, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. Uh, I think we're, we're on to the next big steps, which is probably siding, kind of figuring out the exterior of the cabin. And believe it or not, I don't have all that dialed in yet. I don't exactly know what I'm doing. I don't know how much I need and how I'm going to do it. So over the next week, I'll be doing research, figuring out what I need to order. But hopefully that uh, metal roof comes in and that way we can button up the roof because that'll, be, that'll feel really nice to be able to do that. Um, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and thank you for my Patreon supporters. It means a lot. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Squarespace is my absolute favorite website builder. 
Their templates are super flexible and you can always customize them to make the website exactly what you're looking for. You can customize your look, update content, and add features to fit your unique needs. Their online store is incredible. I've used other website builders and their online stores in the past, and ultimately that's why I switched to Squarespace. It's intuitive, easy to use, and I can do so much from my phone, which is great. When I make a woodwork project or sell stickers, I can simply take a picture on my phone and post it to my website, Lickety Split. If you're looking for a new website or updating an old one, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash goodness to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.